Alright, so if you're not familiar with this channel, we normally do hip-hop, R&B, rap discussions, and album reviews, and song reviews, but Camila is like my WCW for life, so I'm gonna review it, she's honestly gorgeous to me for some reason, so I'm just gonna be giving you my my take on that on the project, give you my thoughts on some of the songs, um, just in general, my thoughts on the album as well, so right into it, um, so when I listen to this full, full out, um, definitely track 5, Inside Out, is definitely my favorite song from the project, I definitely love the tropical vibes I get from the instrumental, and I love her singing in Spanish, like, w one point or another, she has to drop, like, more Spanish songs, or just sing in Spanish, maybe, like, a full Spanish album, but that might be asking for too much, or just some, like, Spanish features, that would be amazing, um, I myself am Spanish, so I'm definitely, when I heard her sing in Spanish, my heart, like, melted, um, definitely do love it, and I love her cadence when she starts out with her saying, grew up in Southside Miami, and she keeps on singing, um, after that point, and just her singing, her cadence, the flow, the instrumental, everything about this track is perfect, definitely making it my favorite track on the album. Now, my second favorite track on the album is definitely Havana, featuring Young Thug. Now, I did this song review a long time ago, like, right when the song first came out, um, before it, like, blew up and became, like, number one and all these great things. Um, I thought, I, I said in my, in my, um, in my review that this is definitely a hit, and glad to see that, um, it, it did become that hit, so definitely, um, Havana for my second favorite song. Now, I did love, uh, track seven, Real Friends as well, um, definitely broke, this album, I, I will say one thing, um, this album definitely breaks a lot of, like, well, I don't want to say break pop sh cliches, but definitely, um, definitely tricked me a bit, because, you know, like, a, a lot of times with pop songs, they normally start off, like, the simple piano keys, and the simple chord, and then, like, you get, like, a minute pass, and then you hit the chorus, and it's, like, bass, bass, electronic music, bass, bass, electronic music, uh, but this album doesn't do that, and I thought I, I really appreciated that that it doesn't do the the big um the big the big giant huge overproduced pop instrumentals that we always hear. Um, so I'm glad that she didn't do that this track, um, and she didn't do that with the with track six consequences either. Um, I, I love the simple like piano and like her singing is great on consequences and real friends as well. Um, Into it is more like a dance dance pop song um, about like. It, her confidence in like her sexuality and everything which i thought was okay um thought that track was okay uh now i did like uh, the first track never be the same as well where, where she like starts singing like all the drugs and like starts rhyming them um i thought that was really good as well um she loves control track three i thought it was a solid song as well so yeah overall um solid album um definitely definitely great for a debut definitely a solid debut album super excited to see what she has in store for the future i'm definitely proud that she did a solid pop debut pop album without sounding like overproduced or anything um so yeah that's all i really have for it my dream one day is to like actually meet her and get a picture with her um we'll go on a date but that's, i think that's asking for too much how old is she like 21 whatever however old she is which is crazy but um i'm 21 but yeah uh all i really have for today uh if you're new to the channel be sure to like comment subscribe um if you're still if you're watching this and you're already a subscriber thank you for your support um, that's all I really have. Peace out.